Woo! I will tell you what, this was definitely a workout. You're going to need to choose eight colors. It's some of the most therapeutic quilting I've ever done. So I'm simply just going to start grabbing whatever here and just kind of, you know, pairing them up to start and just sewing them together. And it doesn't even matter if, you know, one is larger or odd shaped or whatever. If this side right here has only this seam right here and this side has one, two, three, four seams in it, it makes more sense to press your seam to the side that has the least amount of seam allowances. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to shift these so that the seam allowances are not butting up next to each other. Check your seam allowances, make sure there's not too much bulk. Take the pink and the red and you're going to lay them right sides together. Draw a line corner to corner with your marking tool. Quarter inch down one side of this pencil mark and flip it and then sew a quarter inch down the other side. So here you have both your pink and your red. I've taken the orange and the yellow, made a half square triangle there. Then I have one here with the green and the aqua turquoise, the blue and the purple, and then the pink with the red. Now you can see here, this is going to be the center of my quilt, but I wanted to give you an overall view of what one whole entire corner looks like. This is going to be the pink and the red shooting up out of our color wheel and then the other colors, you know, so on and so forth. You need to realize that making the one red and the one pink will actually yield you two blocks in the red and the pink and with the others as well. So you're going to get two 12 inch blocks out of those pieces that we just made in the last segment. So you're going to end up needing three of the 12 inch blocks that are all in one color scrappy you're going to need three though of these. So you will need to make up one right here that's going to look just like this. You can see here that I've added two rectangles up here. These rectangles need to be anywhere from six and a half, seven inches to 12 and a half, 13 inches. All right, so the next step is to connect these, you know, all four together. You should have four big pieces. Oh my. This would be a big quilt. Oh, let's take a look. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love this quilt so far. So I went to Burlington Coat Factory a couple weeks ago. I walked in, went back by the blankets, and lo and behold, $22.99, I found a minky in black exactly what i needed for this quilt and then i'm just going to smooth it out so that this beginning part here is stuck very okay, good just a small sliver of area we don't want to work with a real big area just just small and then i'm going to press again outward Make sure it spreads out really nice. There's our center that we cut out right there. So I'm probably gonna cut the film right now because you've seen enough of me crawling around on the floor <laughs> with my quilt top. So this is a free motion quilt design that I came up with off the cuff the moment I turned my camera on. Yep, for sure, that's the way I roll sometimes. <laughs> It's called Geometric Graffiti. Anyways, that's the name I gave it, right? So it's just whatever shape and whatever shape and straight lines. You could do anything that has an angle to it, works. You could even do stars or whatever, and you just keep moving. I do think it would have been a bummer if I would have done all this free motion quilting in white, and then you could barely see it. So I am super happy with all of this black. 
Again, you're watching the center. Make sure you know nothing crazy is happening. Oh my goodness. All right, just fabric, right? You know, if I mess up, I mess up, whatever. Not really whatever. I, I don't want to mess up. <laughs> and I'm just going to start cutting and pray I don't cut the string, right? <laughs> Oh my, yes, I'm cutting it for sure. Are you scared with me? <laughs> Woo, I will tell you what, this was definitely a workout. This quilt's a workout. If you wanna lose some weight, make this quilt. This right here, the minky, push it up and over toward the back of this quilt. So it'll look like that. You'll kind of push with your fingers and you want to make sure that that quarter inch seam allowance right there is folded and tucked right in there. And then you're going to come along here and drop your needle right where that minky and that striped fabric meets up and you're going to stitch in the ditch. I'll tell you what though, friends, for the first time making this uh, flange binding with the minky, it's turning out pretty good. So hopefully you can get a good view of that. It looks so cool in person. You can really see it, how it shows up on the green and the yellow. Look at that binding. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at how massive this quilt is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. Oh my goodness. For reference purposes only, I am five foot three inches. It totally covers me. Until next time on the sewing channel, take care.